Hello, I'm Finlay and you're watching the Run Fruit YouTube channel. I've got a lot of experience of different types of running shoes, some of which have helped me race twice at the Ironman World Championships in Kona. I've also worked for Run Fruit for over 10 years, so I have a good understanding of how others have got on with various types of running shoe technologies. We're going to be talking through the Brooks Glycerin franchise in this episode, but we're also going to be comparing them to the incredibly popular Brooks Ghost and Brooks Adrenaline GTS. Now the Brooks Glycerin franchise offers Brooks' most cushioned underfoot experience and that's because the midsole has nitrogen infused into it. Now for the technical enthusiasts that involves turning liquid nitrogen into gas and then infusing that into the foam. Now if you're wondering this nitrogen infused foam is called DNA Loft V3 and adding nitrogen to the foam makes it lighter, makes it more durable, and makes it ultra plush underfoot. But at the same time, it also delivers a lot of energy return. So the midsole feels pretty responsive too. So in theory, the Brooks Glycerin models should deliver the most forgiving underfoot feel. And that means this cushioning is really best suited to your slower pace runs, your recovery runs, and then your longer distance miles. And if you're looking for the most cushioned and protective feel from a Brooks running shoe, the Glycerin franchise is definitely where you should be looking. Now, I imagine some of you might be wondering, why am I talking about a franchise? Well, that's because there's a Glycerin and a Glycerin GTS. So they both feature the same cushioning and offer a similar underfoot experience, except GTS means go to support. So the Glycerin are neutral running shoes and the Glycerin GTS are stability running shoes. So this section of the shoe that you can see with these lines here, this is the guide rail support. And while it rises up on both sides, it's only firmer on the medial side on the inside here. And the benefit of this support is it only kicks in when you need it. So if your ankle and your then knees and hips start to roll in or rotate in a little bit further, that support is there to just guide you and keep you in a better alignment. So one of the most common problems in running is knee pain. And while there could be a lot of different causes as to why somebody gets sore knees, a common problem is excessive internal knee rotation. And Brooks's research has showed them that one of the most effective way for them to make running shoes that helps reduce knee pain is by using this guide rail style support, this holistic support system. So that's why they have that in these running shoes. So as a result, if you do experience knee discomfort, and it's quite a common thing for you, then we would definitely recommend opting for one of the GTS versions in the glycerin. At the same time, it's quite common for people's form to deteriorate over the course of a run, particularly in long runs. You might find your form worsens and you start to get a little bit more leg rotation and as a result you might feel a little bit more knee discomfort and because the gts system only kicks in when you need it that makes these a potential option for you if you know that you need that little bit of extra support when you're doing those longer distances as well the other thing to mention about the glycerin franchise models is the upper and to match that really premium feel that you get underfoot the top, the upper part of the glycerin models features a really luxurious, really soft and comfortable fabric. You get a lot of padding around the heel collar and it just feels very comfortable on your feet. So how do the glycerin models compare to the Brooks Ghost and the Brooks Adrenaline GTS? Well, the main difference is that these models both feature DNA Loft V2. And really what that means is that they don't have nitrogen infused into the foam. So as a result, the foam doesn't offer quite as much soft softness, quite as much cushioning and protection and energy return as what DNA Loft V3 does. However, some runners do find for some reason that the V2 version feels a little bit softer under the feet. So it's not an absolute given that that's how it's going to translate under your feet on a run. In terms of support, the Ghost are neutral running shoes and the Adrenaline GTS, as you probably expect, are then the stability running shoes because GTS means go to support. So the Glycerin is effectively a more cushioned version of the Ghost. 
and the Glycerin GTS is effectively a more cushioned version of the Adrenaline GTS. In case you're wondering, the actual guide rail support in the Adrenaline GTS and the Glycerin GTS are the same. There's no difference there. But critically, because the Glycerin GTS is slightly softer than the Adrenaline, when you land, the Glycerin can help slow down the speed of pronation to a greater degree than what the Adrenaline can. And that, in turn, might reduce how much your overall leg is internally rotating. So the Glycerin GTS, you could argue, has a potential to offer slightly more support than what the Adrenaline does. So hopefully that makes it clear what the key differences are between these Brooks running shoes. At run for it we position all of those in our float experience category and that's because they all feel pretty soft under your feet and they're all best suited to that slower to steady pace run. If you're looking for maximum cushioning, the best level of protection, you really want to be opting for the Glycerin franchise. So that means going for either the Glycerin or the Glycerin GTS and if you need that little bit of extra support for potentially some knee discomfort or some hip, dis hip discomfort, that's where you want to be going down the GTS route. If you would like a slightly more responsive feel that maybe feels a little bit better for some steadier pace runs, then that's where I would maybe look more towards the Ghost and the Adrenaline GTS. And that brings me to the end of this Brooks Glycerin franchise review video. We hope you enjoyed it and thanks very much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please make sure and hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this. We'll see you next time.